know it before you do because you know what it's gonna tap on me first huh hey hey bishop i want to make a deal with you i want you to switch on every one of them now my sins i did not know i was in a predicament like that i did not know i was messed up like that i didn't know the devil was using me like that i didn't know i was that lost good god almighty when you start turning my god there's so much in you come he brought me up out the muck and the mouth and set my feet on a solid rock and established my going and put a new song in my mouth come on somebody go into faith in god i'm believing god for it just because you don't hear me say nothing about it i believe in god I'm believing God for this, 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 and all yours too. That's why you don't see me standing around because I'm believing. I got to be about my father's business. When you believe in God for something, you got to be about his business. I ain't got time to sit around there and cry over it. I done gave it to him. He said, cast all your cares upon me for I carry his foot. See, when you give a more to the Lord, It may not look like it's in manifestation, but it is. It's already fixed. It's already taken care of. I put it in his hands. I put this and that. This, that, that, and this. I put it all in his hands. Oh, glory to God. Somebody ought to be excited. You in church on a Friday night? I just can't stop. Praise in his name. He's so good to me. He's better than a pity pat. Come on and put a praise on it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, yeah, yeah. He rest because he's not in you. But don't think he's going that far. He ain't going no further than you are. Paul said when I would do good, he would do present stuff him you know, while I'm doing good. You ain't saving the devil ain't that. You ain't gonna talk about all this deliverance and he ain't around you. Oh Jesus, guess who's looking at you when you open your mouth? He is. Jesus. But notice when the unclean spirit is going out, you got to recognize why that spirit is out. It was a word is the cause of that spirit to go out of you. And it's got to be a word to continue so that spirit don't come back. The devil don't stay out of you because you come to Christ in the way. The devil won't stay out of you because you go to first Baptist. The devil ain't gonna stay out of you because you go to the church of God and Christ. I can't get no help in here now. It ain't gonna stay out of you if you go to Lutheran. I can't get no help. He don't stay out because that. He stays out because of the word. You ain't got no word and you demons ain't gonna stay out of you. You ain't no match with no devil. If he tried Jesus, who is you? Lord help me Jesus. You can't live right without the word. You can't be partial. Amen. When the Bible with me to Joel chapter 2. Joel, chapter 2, and give me verse 21 now. But if I happen to walk off somewhere, put your Bible marker at Joel chapter 2 because I'm coming back. But I want verse number 21. 
fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. I, I, I'm, I'm ready to fly out of here right now. You mean, you mean he's still going to do some great things? But now you got to hear who says this. The Lord. That's why I can stay in church. I ain't got to run behind every wind and dark. Because ain't nothing going to blow me. God going to help me. My faith is in God. I'm trusting in God. What I don't supposed to have, God going to give to me. Read that one more time. Fear not. Fear. Don't start fearing God. Because you ain't see nothing. You're going to see it. He ain't asked you to do nothing. This is on him. God said he's going to do it for you. God said, now what I want you to do, grab hold to yourself. Don't you start looking funny. Don't you start being led away by you. Get a hold to yourself because God said, I'm going to do it. But notice. Fear not, O land. Yes. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad. God said, it's time to be glad. Oh, some situations in life. Things that you tried to handle and you couldn't handle. God said, be glad over. Be glad because they fired you. Be glad because your house went in foreclosure. Because the only thing went in foreclosure was a house. But God said, I'm going to give you houses. It takes getting something out the way for something to get in the way. You ought to touch yourself and say, I feel a breakthrough in him. I feel something breaking up. I got a feeling. Everything. Everything. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Honey, God going to do it. Read, 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 don't Fear not, O land. Yes. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord. For the Lord. Will do great things. He going to do great, great things. Mm. That's why I don't worry about what you see. God going to do great things. Don't, 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 don't feel sorry for me for who I am. God going to do great things. I said God going to do. I said God going to do. God going to do great things. But give me Ecclesiastes. Give me Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Oh, put your Bible, Mark and Joel. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 11. He had made everything beautiful. Wait a minute. See, it ain't about you. See, because we done read the scripture and you're talking about I don't feel nothing. Everything ain't about no feeling. He son his word. And heal them all. You got to learn how to grasp this word. And every time you grasp it, you may not feel it. You may not. It may look like you're in the same predicament. But be, <laughs> be 
not confined to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to learn to shift your mind when this word is preached. You got to learn to shift it. I ain't broke no more. I ain't dying no more. God done brought me out. You got to learn how to walk in the word. Believe what the words say over the world. You got to believe what God say over doubt. Over what the doctor say. That's how you got the victory. The doctor tell you you got cancer, but the word will say you healed. Who's report? You got to believe God report. Notice. He has made everything beautiful. He has made everything. You weren't you wasn't the way he wanted you when he first got you. That's why it took some things for you to go through so he could make you. See, you remember when you used to be a crybaby, he was making you. You, you. you remember when you used to be hard to catch on? You wasn't that hard, but you played hard. You played harder than you would really were. Well. He was making you. Notice he didn't make you leave there when you decided to believe God. You got up and started walking. You remember when the ten lepers said, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. They were lepers when they said that. When he told them to go show themselves to the priest, they were still lepers. But as they went, when you make up your mind and start moving, honey, things going to change for you. I need some help in there right now. I know you said now and I want somebody to come over there and sit next to you and babysit that. But the devil is alive. We ain't sitting we ain't babysitting no poverty. We ain't babysitting no back pains. We ain't babysitting no headaches. We ain't babysitting no headaches. Hallelujah. Could somebody shout glory? You got to learn to walk off in the predicament you in and believe God. Believing, sit down. Believing God is walking off in it while you got it. But I believe God, it ain't going to stay there. You may be broke, but I'm believing God, I ain't going to stay broke. You, maybe everything around you messed up and tore up from the floor, but I'm believing God is going to be fixed. Because the Bible said, as they went, they was cleansed. You got to, you got to move in what you in. Ain't but so many churches you can change. Ain't but so many you can go to. That ain't going to do no good. You got to believe God. Have faith in God. That's why he said you should be like a tree planted. You can tell when you're planted and when you ain't. Because when you ain't planted, you roll everywhere. But when you're planted, you can't go nowhere. You got to stay right there. Did you know anything planted, if it rained, it have to stay in it? If a car bag over it, it have to stay there. It have to get healed from the limbs broke from the tree. Right where it is. Uh, how many healing marks you got on? What done run over you like? And you stayed right there and got healed. I need you some help in here. I mean, you got healed. You got hurt there, but you got healed. The tree lost some limbs there because somebody wasn't paying attention to bag oak, but it got healed there. That tree still got fruit on it. That tree still got a shot. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about somebody been knocked down, tore up, but bounced back. I ain't talking about these folks in church. Uh, ain't nothing ever touched them and they always had the right friends and the right people around them all the time. I ain't had that kind. I had some of back over you and then turn around and run over you. 
See, that's why a lot of y'all can't shout. That's why a lot of times you can't prophesy. But it got healed. Right there. Right there where you get healed. Run over. Left for dead. That's why I got raised it. Jesus said, I have power to lay it down. I have power to take it again. He said, no man take it from me. I lay it down. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Go away, everybody get along with you. Everybody love you. Everybody like you. Everybody care for you. Everybody take you out to lunch. Everybody buy you something. I didn't come up that way. I come up, they don't even see you. They see everybody but you. It makes you tough. That stop you from being so timid. When you're climbing up the rough side of the mountain. Get a hope but you slip. Almost make it and fall back. But that falling back teach you how to say, Jesus. My, 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 my. But notice, he made everything. God is doing some stuff right now. He don't have to tell you what he's doing. And you can't face God. A lot of times I listen to people's how disrespectful how it's God does. What? The Bible says the beginning of knowledge is the fear of God. You don't say anything out your mouth. That's why you got disrespect for kids. They say anything to their parents. No respect. After a while, you ain't gonna know who the parents is. Because everybody talking the same. You can't say anything to God. God is God. It is he that has made us. And not we ourselves. You ought to be glad he made you. No, 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 ain't none of us not all that now. By the way, you ain't none of that. But you ought to be glad. God let you live. Oh, gee, I'm just so grateful and thankful. He let me live. Oh, God, I thank you. But notice, notice. He has made everything beautiful. He has made everything Beautiful in his time, in his not yours. Well, huh, Bishop, I thought you said he became poor that we may become rich. He did, but you ain't finna be rich overnight. You got to be taught to have richness because the Bible says in Psalm 62, it said, When richness increases, don't set your heart. You'd be surprised right now what your heart's set for. But you just ain't going to get a hold to. Amen. And a lot of times that's our biggest problem because we can't get a hold to what this Bible said overnight. It says a lot of times you ain't going to get in 30 minutes. Amen. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. But they, I go there. Read, 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 daughter. He had made everything beautiful. He had made everything. Look how beautiful he made you. You used to didn't be like you is. You used to couldn't even hold a job. You used to wouldn't even be the kind they wanted to work for their company. They see you, they didn't even get a chance to, for you to fill out, to fill out your application. For they had put in the garbage before you left it. They can look at you and tell you what I'm going to do. But look what God done did now. This thing's been changed in your life. To even when you tell people, they look and say, you? You ain't never did that. Child, I was the ringleader. What? I was the ringleader. But God, Make me, Lord. I need to be made. He maker you to lie down in green pastures. 
You know why you in that green bath? He made you lie now. You, you, you's a makeup kind of person. You can be made. Yeah, made to be blessed. Made to be healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mary Magdalene is made for seven devils to come out of her. Hallelujah. I don't know how many nobody else had in them, but she was made for her seven to come out of her. She ain't the only one had devils now. Come on, somebody. But hers came out of her. Is yours come out of you? Oh, Jesus. But notice. He had made everything beautiful. He had made everything beautiful. In his time. In his time. And God ain't finna change his time because you just got saved. You got to learn to get in line. Just like the rest of them. Man, we will preach this, talk this, read this, and still hand out, but we got to stay in line. You got to stay in line because when your time comes, it's going to take over you. I said, when your time comes, it's going to take over you. You won't be asleep that you can't get it because it's going to wake you up. You can't be too broke and can't receive it because it's going to touch you. When your time comes, the Bible says it's a time and a season for everything. For, for everything, it's a time. And in that time, and within that time, it makes you better. It's some things you don't need until that time. Because you won't, you won't handle it right. You won't be a good steward over it. God, God, God makes good steward over what he bless you with. You know how to take care of it. You know how to bless. You know how to be blessed and not think you're the only one that can be blessed in that timing. You ain't the only one can have something now. Hallelujah. But that's why it takes that timing. That timing helps you depreciate what God is doing in your life. But notice. He have made everything beautiful. Yes. In his time. In his timing. Also. He has set the world in their hearts so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Go back and read that again. He has made everything beautiful in his time. In his time. Hold it right now. Now give me, give me Isaiah 40 and 31. Give me Isaiah 40. In verse number 31, everything he made beautiful, he made it in his timing. Take your time. Isaiah 40, 31. But they that wait. They that. Uh-huh. It's a waiting period. Because otherwise, you'll be running to every building, every tent. Anything look like church, you'll be up on, crawling up on it. Because you're trying to find out where they get it as soon as they say it. I want you to know they, that wait. You see, Bishop, where he is now, I wait. And the devil told me it wasn't going to happen, but I kept on waiting. Honey, your wait got to last longer than demons talk to you. See, that's why you can't be jealous of what nobody got. You don't know how they wait. You don't know what they've been told while they was waiting. If people didn't like you because you was waiting. If people talked about you because you was waiting. Honey, I got some waiting miracles. Talking about you healed, you better know it because I wait on that. People got mad with you because you was waiting. Some fell out with you because you was waiting. But thank God you kept on waiting. 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 Some thought I was cursed because I was waiting. You know, people quick to think wrong about you. They won't pray for you and just let you be. They always trying to put something in there when they don't see it like it turned away. But it's turning. 
God is turning some things for me. Where I am, I ain't gonna always be that. Job said, I'm gonna wait till my change come. I know I got a change coming. Job said, leave me alone. That's Job 13, 13. Leave me alone. Let come on me what we. God got me. I need somebody to leave me alone while I'm shot. Leave me alone while I'm leaping over walls and running through truth. Leave me alone. God gonna bring me out. I'm coming out of this pure gold. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at all the things I done went through before I got saved. As soon as I get saved, you think I'm everything hurt me? Leave me alone. My, 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 my. I feel anointing in here. Oh, praise his name. Praise, praise, praise. See, this, this is the door open for me to praise God. What do what he mean to you when you're going through? Can you still sing Zion? What's wrong, Zion? You don't sing like you used to. Mm, it still ought to be a praise like you used to it ought to be a used to praise still in you do you still dance like you used to do you still clap like you used to do you still leap over walls and run through truth like you used to mm. hallelujah oh lord but notice, I got to run. But they that wait. But they, when it ain't have. I said, when it ain't have, you better leave me alone. Mm. Because it done already happened in the spirit. But it's a time, just a time for it to show up. It's done already happened. No sooner than Jesus cursed that fig tree, it was dried up. But the next day, Peter seed it and said, Lord, the fig tree you cursed dried up from the root. <laughs> Jesus told Peter, have faith in God. Boy, it was dried up when I cursed it. You done cursed some sickness in your life. It can't function. You done cursed some poverty in your life. It can't function. You done curse the devil, come against them demonic spirits. <laughs> they got your kids on drugs and got them strung in them streets. It can't function. He said, I've given you power over all foes of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means shall hurt you. God said, I give you power. But as many as received him, to them gave me power to be from the sons of God and you got the power use your stuff come on stop being lazy stop waiting on somebody else to do it do it yourself sometime the building ain't is a place look like it just hold a bunch of lazy folks People that go there want something for nothing. Too lazy to shout. Too lazy to clap. Say you make too much noise. Honey, I come here through a noise. Let me tell you something else. When I was born, when they spanked me, if I had a holiday to bury me. You know why they didn't bury you? Because you hollered.
C'est là, c'est là. The doctor then tried to talk to you. So wait a minute. Let's tell him his name. And if he give us a sign, we'll leave him alone. They did one thing. And they didn't say, do it lightly. They said, put it on him. Because the louder he holler, the more he's alive. Now, 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 don't holler because I'm telling you, when do you get home and in your car? Some of these streets you travel on need to know you a holler. Some of these traffic lights you stop on them need to know you are. Some of these Walmarts you go in and need to know you are. Somebody in your neighborhood need to know you are. to the side he's alive is you alive in here today or you relying on somebody else you better you better rely on you honey because they may not holler for you you got bills need to be paid you better learn how to holler you got children they ain't saved you better learn how to holler you live in a neighborhood they ain't saved you better learn how to holler You surround her with people. Don't know whether they're going or coming. You better holler. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But notice. But they that wait. But they that wait. Wait, waiting people. Ain't in no hurry. Brokenness ain't never killed me. I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side and broke. Because now to him that is able to keep me from falling. Honey, I'm glad I'm on the Lord's side because he can keep me. And he said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is saved on me. Well, since I haven't got it, haven't showed up when I'm bleeding for, I'm still singing. I'm still making a joy for knowing. What is you still doing? Why are you waiting on me? Don't you know it has something to do with what you're doing now till it get here? Is you making a joyful noise? Is you making a noise unto the Lord? Is you telling God how you love him? Is you telling the Lord I can't make it without you? I got to have it. Is your spirit lined up with his? Do you have God's spirit? Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Is you praising him? God wants some praises in between. It's not your miracle and not that, but he said in between here and there, give me a praise. I got to run, I got to run, read daughter. But they that wait upon the Lord. I'm talking about waiting people. And what I love about this, you can't figure them out. You can't tell when they got it, when they ain't got it. Because they stay the same. People ain't waiting on the Lord to have attitude. You can tell the way they talk when you meet them. Yeah, I was praying about this and you ain't come in yet. Oh, Lord. Have a good day. I'm gone. There's a whole lot I pray about. I ain't come in, but I ain't acting like that. Don't try, don't try to wipe that spirit off on me now. Because I ain't into that. I ain't into these jobs thing. Ah, but I believe in God and they didn't. And they didn't hire me. You ought to be glad. You don't want to work no way. If the truth to be told. Ain't but one thing you want out of that, and you ain't going to work for it if they hire you. You ain't after so much about work. You just want benefits. Give me Psalm 103. Psalm 103 and verse 1, 2, 3, very quick. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Yes. And all that is within me. Yes. Bless his holy name. Read. Bless the Lord, 
Oh my soul. Yeah. And forget not all his benefits. Wait a minute. You out here talking about see on my jaw, they got dentists in showing. Wait. We don't pull teeth his teeth this way. Oh, Lord Jesus. I feel like running in there. Oh Lord God, I thank you. Hallelujah. I feel anointing in here. All this God got for you, and you tell my on my job. They got they got I can go to the hospital. Well, I go to Isaiah 53 and 5. He was wounded for my transgression. See, that means they ain't got no insurance. They got an upper insurance. I, I got insurance. I just wave my hand. Come by him alone. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But, 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 but notice what it says. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And forget not all his benefits. And forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth. Who forgiveth. All that he And God you. knows you need that. You need to be forgiven. You ain't broke. You just need to be forgiven. You, know, you, know, you ain't got no bills you can't pay. You just need to be forgiven. Because when you're forgiven, you set up to be blessed. Come on, let's go back. I got it. But they that wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. You're going to have renewed strength. Because some things you don't, you don't run out. You don't run the strength out. Of you. you need to renew strength. You know why you're so happy in church and happy serving God? Because you always renew. See, anything set and sells, and it's just like water standing still. It carries an odor. But running water. Sometimes you get this settling around stuff. It take advantage of you. <laughs> it starts you to looking like you don't look and uh, acting the way you don't act. <laughs> Honey, you need to be in running water. <laughs> cause the more you run, <laughs> the more excited you stay. <laughs> Honey, cause sometimes you run through some stuff <laughs> that would have got you, but it couldn't. <laughs> Go with it, God. He said, when you pass through the waters, uh, I'll be with you. <laughs> and through the rivers, uh, they shall not overflow thee. <laughs> when you walk us through the fire, that shall not be burned. Come on, somebody. And I ain't talking about nobody helping you. I'm talking about when you go through it. So you got to learn how to take your own stand. You got to learn how to stand. When you did all to do but stand, you got to learn to stand in it. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty. What for Christ has made you free? St ain't you free? Your standing don't cause you to want to smoke. Standing for God and cause don't nothing happen don't cause you to want to go in them streets. I ain't looking for nothing in the streets. Street stuff will break you. Give me Ecclesiastes 9, 18. Ecclesiastes 9, 18. You got to stay out in them streets. You can't use the church and then cause they ain't gonna work your way. Go in the streets and try to find it. It don't work that way. Glory to God. But notice what Ecclesiastes 9, 18. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Yes. But one sinner destroyeth much good. Oh, you wouldn't have got you a marriage anyway, huh? Oh, you gonna, you gonna show the people how you can marry if don't nobody in the church wants you. Mm. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Oh, bitch, bitch, you're a preacher, but <laughs> he ain't been hitting me lately. <laughs> oh, you going you gonna show them how you can just get you somebody. Yes, sir. Uh, your, your, your pretty clothes and your hair do gonna get you some. Go ahead, go ahead. 
<laughs> what you gonna get gonna get you. Every time it's gonna get you. Because you think you're smarter than waiting. It pays to wait. Waiting helps you. Honey, there's a lot of things on you need to be fixed before you get anybody. You ain't as easy to get along with as you pretend. How much of you is he? How much of you you don't bring around everybody? How much of you you carry in a lunchbox? You got to be empty out. Being real. Being real. Fix me, little boy. Fix my mind. Fix my attitude. Fix my madness. You know, some people can get mad and they like they happy, but they still mad. And they know it. But they don't want you to know it. But they don't care who know it if they're mad with you. You need to be fixed, honey. You need to be fixed for gossip. Oh, Lord God. Especially you want God to give you somebody. God ain't finna give you no crew. God said no flesh shall dwell in his presence. God don't fool with no flesh. Amen. God, God is spirit. Oh, God, I thank you. But no, to read that last part. But what sinner? Well, oh, not two. One. One sinner. Won't okay, care how much you got. All your stuff paid off. You can work if you want to or not. And you mean to tell me you finna get married overnight? I know that's too fast. Charlie, it just don't come like that. You done find somebody just love you from the crown to the soul. <laughs> when you first laid eyes on them, you know they was your <laughs> You need to come back. Look, pray for them eyes. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. I, the, the Bible says, out of the multitude of counsel, that Satan, honey, you need counsel. Well, well, I don't see, Bishop, I don't see why I need counsel because I got all the benefits. Oh, that's why you need counsel. You got too many benefits and don't know which way they're supposed to go. You can have a toolbox and can't fix a car. I'll preach that in another time. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I feel anointing in me. I feel the power of God is moving. Glory to God. But notice. But one sinner destroyeth much good. One. One. A sweet talk you. I show everything you got. Ooh, and they know how to rap. <laughs> you talking about rapping? Ooh, and know how to say the right words. I told you about this person in uh, this coffee place. Uh, well, what, what's the name? Starbucks. Yeah. This person, this man, ordered this lady a coffee and told him to give her oh, black, one cream, and three splendors. And he fixed into her and she said, which way that man go? The man was gone. She said, which way he go? I ain't never had nobody fix me coffee like this before. That don't make him be them. When we left Starbucks, she was right there at Starbucks walking around looking at all them cars trying to see if she could find it. Remember, 
where you find coffee at? Where did you find coffee? You going to get coffee results? I can't get no help in here. Yeah, the amen is getting slack in there now. I'm on somebody's road. I'm messing with somebody. I'm in, I'm in your business now, Angel. Meddling them. I'm going to meddle today. I'm going to meddle so that you're going to get healed. You're going to wait on the Lord. God got great things for you, but it ain't with everybody. One sinner. But notice. But what sinner destroyeth much good? Destroys much good. Come on and go back with me to Joel. Joel, Joel, chapter 2 and verse 21. Fear not, O land. For fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. The Lord. Now, come on, go with me to Psalms 100. Psalms 100 and verse 1. Psalm 101 and verse 1. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. All ye lands. Some of you. Everyone in there ought to be making a joyful noise. A joyful noise. And you ain't got to get loud as nobody else. But at least you're making a noise. Did you not know? See, that, that was a noise. Now, somebody could have been screaming, but that was a noise, too. We're making it unto the Lord. We're on one accord. We're on one accord, making it to the Lord. We're giving him glory and giving him praise. I'd rather do something to sit in here and don't do nothing. Because nothing from nothing leaves nothing. I need a miracle right now. But if I show forth I need a miracle, a miracle got to come to me. Because I need a miracle. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Ain't nobody out of game that they, that they shame of. It's somebody keeping up a noise. But notice. Make a joyful noise. Yes. Unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. All ye lands. All ye lands. Serve the Lord Serve with the gladness. Lord with what? Gladness. You ought to be glad. Just because I don't have no gas in my car don't make me sad. I'm glad because I'm serving the Lord. Gas going up, you better get glad in the Lord by the... I mean a whole everything. You better be glad about the Lord. <laughs> Honey, you better stay closer to God. <laughs> At that time, you used to space yourself, but you can't space yourself no more because these gas pumps is going up. Hallelujah. But I tell you what, <laughs> every time they go up, my God, go up with me. <laughs> I go up with a praise. <laughs> I go up with a thank you, Jesus. Uh, the more I praise him, the better I feel, and the better I feel, the more I praise him. Uh, yeah, hallelujah, glory to God. I ain't got to wait till I get to the pump. Huh? The better I feel, the more I praise him, and the more I praise him, the better I feel. But notice. Serve the Lord serve, with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Be glad. Be glad. Stop trying to dig up stuff to be sad about. Be glad. Stop looking at what you ain't got and looking at what you got. Because what you got more than what you don't have. Honey, you got God. You got it all. You got your rent paid. You ain't got nothing. There ain't but one month they're going to put you out the next one. But if you're serving God, they can't put you out. Come in, Jeremiah. Call unto me. And I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God want to show you something right where you're supposed to pay bills. You ain't got to pay them. My God, my God. Uh-huh. Come before his presence. Come before his presence. With singing. With singing. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye. Know ye. That the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us. It is, it is he that hath made us. And not we ourselves. And not we ourselves. Let's go back to Joel. Let's go back to Joel. I got to quit. Joel chapter 2 and verse 21. Fear not, O Lamb. Yes. Be glad and rejoice. Be glad. Be glad and rejoice. Just get excited. How, it don't have to be a song. Just get to talking to God. God, I'm so glad you love me. 
I'm so glad you saved me. I'm so glad I belong to you. You know my name. I'm so glad you know my name. You walked with me. You talked with me. You tell me I am your home. Oh, Lord God, I thank you. Honey, you can sing that all day and all night. Hallelujah. I'm glad you know my name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. That's a praise right there. That's how you keep your mind stayed on the Lord. You talk to him. Amen. Uh-huh. Fear not, O oh land. Yes. Be glad and rejoice. Yes. For the Lord will do great things. The Lord will do. Not the Lord will do it, right? Now you got to keep your spirit, your mind, in what God will do. And leave these other peoples alone. I don't care what house they in, white house, blue house, black house, whatever. Honey, they can't do it. And don't get mad with nobody because they can't do what they do. Honey, it's God the one do it. God going to do it. Hallelujah. Can't no man do it. God going to do it. But notice what he says in 25. And I will restore to you. Wait a minute. God said he finna do something to you. It, it, it looked like, because it's been a while, it wasn't coming back, right? God said he will, go and read. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the pummel worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Wait a minute. He said, now, I'm going to restore. I, I, see, I know it haven't been there, but it's finna be there. Honey, you better, you better get ready for what wasn't there finna be there. Good God Almighty. I might have been broke, but he finna give me so much and I ain't gonna remember that. I might have been sick. God finna heal me so till I can't, I won't even be able to remember when I was down. Position yourself. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. I don't care how you been let down. You ain't been let down that low that you can't remember what God's going to do. Because honey, when I was on the low end, I was still wanting to be up. So that, that means that it doesn't matter how much poverty has in it. It don't have enough in it to make me stay in it. It don't have enough in it to make me desire for it. Honey, I still want better. Thank you, daughter. I want better when I was down. When I was down, I wanted to get up. Come on, somebody. So that's why it ain't hard for me to get up. Because I, I ain't never accept being down. I ain't never accept being broke. The motorcycle accident that I had, I wouldn't say. Mm. When my company knew that I was going to have to take an early retirement and, and not come back, they said they're going to say we want to give you the best uh, wheelchair you can ride it 24 hours before you have to charge it. I took a couple of walking sticks and a couple of crutches, but I wouldn't fool that wheelchair because I told him, I said, I sure appreciate it. I said, but some way, I ain't gonna have to deal with this. That, that, that's too much pinning me down. Notice everything I allowed him to give me was something standing. I, I took the, the walking cane because that's standing. I took the crutches, cause that's standing. But I ain't take nothing sitting down. Cause that look like gonna hold me. Honey, when you was down, you ain't really want to be that. I need me some help in here. Cause when you were broke, you didn't really want to be broke. Cause I might have been there, but I didn't want to be there. That's why it ain't hard for you to move in the spirit. See, that's why it ain't hard for you to believe this word. Because you ain't never accepted nothing down, no way. 
I may not can pay my bills, but I ain't accepting it. I, I might be the breadwinner in the house, but I ain't, ain't finna accept being no poverty. I'm going to accept coming out of this thing. Some way, so I appreciate the wheelchair, but I, ain't, I don't want now. I don't want y'all to give me that one. He called my house one day. He said, when you coming in pick? I said, I'm, I said, I'm coming to see you, but I ain't coming to that. Hey, man, it's just something that ain't going to let you put on me. I didn't understand that at the time because I wasn't saying now. But I know I didn't want to be in that predicament. That's too much pinning me down. That's too much got me depending on y'all. What if you cut the check off? Sometimes we put too much into cut off stuff. Child, some, some of us will run and work hard all day. You sure something to cut off? But that eternal, you won't hardly move for it. But the Bible said the thing that you see a temple. But the thing that you see not is eternal. You better run for eternal. But notice, notice, I got to run. And I will restore to you. He said, and I will restore unto you. Stop putting yourself with everybody. And stop looking at how they do. How in the world any good thing going to come out of this for me? And they going through. You don't know how them people live. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he said, if thou were diligent, Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God and do that which is right in his sight. I ain't talking about in folks' sight. See, that's when we got too many people pleasers and you stay broke. Too many people pleasers and you stay down. Too many people trying to please peoples and they ain't never happy. Too many people trying to pe please peoples and they ain't never got no peace. He said, do that which is right in his sight. And this is Exodus 26, 15, 26. Just in case you want to read that. Do that which is right in this sight. He said, I will bring none of these diseases. Oh, so disease have to be brought. Yeah. He said, I bring none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. He said, you know why they got it? I put it on them. He said, I won't put it on you if you will be obedient. Stop looking at rebellious people, drawing from them, draw from righteous folk. Draw from folks that following God. Draw from people that go through, but still got the victory. Draw from people that, yea, that all that will live God and shall suffer persecution. And stop looking at them ain't suffering. You can't pay your way out of this. I don't care how much you make, you won't never get enough money to bail out with it. Honey, it's some suffering. Can you shout when you're suffering? Can you praise him when you're suffering? Can you tell him thank you when you're suffering? That's what that's what makes you where you are right now. That's why you have the victory over things. Because you're stronger than what's happening to you. But, 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 but notice. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. He said, I'm going to restore to you the years. <laughs> and you can tell this ain't no one year. Honey, you done been through something. You need something. You leave church, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you if I have to tie you down in the back of my truck. All these years you done been through. Oh, I'm coming to get you. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take my truck and back up and knock your door down and pull you out of there. Because, honey, you got to get in here. You got to be in here. He going to restore the years. You know how long you've been messed up?
You know how long you have been without. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. But, 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 but notice. And I will restore to you. He said to you personally. The years. He said I will restore to you. And then he said the year. That's right. That showed me. I ain't got to look around. I ain't got to look around to my who is he talking to. <laughs> talking to me. I ain't got to wait till you get the parking lot to ask you what you know. That was me. It won't be no parking lot prophets today. Cause honey, that was for me. I ain't gonna hold your time up today in the parking lot. Cause that was for me. He gonna restore unto me the years. You can look at and tell it wasn't it wasn't last night. You can look at me and tell it's been some years. It's been some years since I had a miracle. It's been a year, some years since I had a blessing. It's been a, it's been some years since I had peace. Oh my God! Hallelujah! I know he's talking to me. That's for me. He said he work a work in your day. That even though it was told to you, you wouldn't believe it. God said he's going to work a work. God going to work a work even though it was told to you and you didn't believe God said that. Whether you believe or not, I'm going to work it. God doing some things in your life and it ain't all about your believing either. He just doing it. God said, he have mercy on whom he will. I said, no, I I'm not waiting till you believe this one. I'm going to do this one. Doesn't matter how you feel. I'm going to show you I'm God. And then none, he said, there's none besides me. He said, before there was no God, and after me there will be no God. God said, he God all by himself. And he do what he want to do. God is so good, does. But notice. And I will restore to you. He said, I will restore out of all the locals that I eat. I ain't going to whoop them. I'm just going to restore. And he's a good God. It's some things used to make it off and you won't make it no more. It's some things moved in with you just for rent and you to feed them. Won't, won't make it no more. God said he going to restore. Like some people done took advantage of you. They know they didn't want you from the beginning. They took advantage of you. But God said, I'm over it. Some people called you to lose your money that was coming in. But God said he going to restore it. Anointing in him. Oh my. Oh, la, la, la. Some of us, I wouldn't have lost my car if I had never met Blue. Blue borrowed my car money and I lost my car. God said he going to restore it. Mm. That was a local too. That was a caterpillar. But God going to restore it. I said God going to restore it. I said God going to restore it. I said, God gonna restore it. I said, God gonna restore it. I don't care what they call you to lose. God gonna get back to you. And walked off and left you. God said, I give it back to you. I give it back. I give it back. Some people hung around you long enough just to eat up what you had. And moved out on you. But God said, I restore it. Thank you, thank you, daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God said, I restore you. I restore you. Everything. 
cause you to lose stuff. But God said, I'll restore you. They thought it was funny how they did you and left you. Went off and laughed about you. But God said, I'll restore you. Them same folks going to see you up again. They going to see you riding high. Oh, good God Almighty. They going to see you living high. They can't believe the house you live in that you got it. God finna show them something. He said he going to restore it, honey. I'm waiting on God restoring. God is restoring some stuff right now. God restoring spirit. He restoring your mind. He restoring your children. He restoring your joy. He restoring your peace. He restoring your love. He restoring your forgiveness. He restoring your long suffering. Hallelujah. God is restoring. Restore unto you the years that the locusts notice, have eaten. Notice, the locusts, they just lived off of you. And we done had some local people. I'm talking about some of these standing up locusts. I'm talking about some locals standing up winning your bank account. Mm. I'm talking about some of these locals feel like they, what they did, they did it legal. They had a right to do it. And didn't bring nothing to the table when they come in. Just come in and take him. But God said he going to restore it. He going to restore it. Feel like you've been mistreated, but God gonna restore it. God know how, God know how to give you joy back. You, you fell down, you fell so bad. Just didn't look like what nothing gonna raise you from that. And all of a sudden, God said, "I restore unto you." Good God Almighty, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> gonna restore it unto me. <laughs> Oh, Lord, you mean to tell me you still can do something about it? God said, I can still fix it. Ain't nothing too hard for me. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding and to bundle above all that we ask to think according to the power that's not working in us. Come on, somebody. Paul prayed that your faith stand not in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. David said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Come on, somebody. I need some help in here. I'm telling you, stay, 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 stay right back. Cry sometime, stay right back. Smile sometime, stay right back. Weep sometime, stay right back. I'm going to wait until my change my change is coming right here I ain't got to be over there but I'm going to be right here this is where it started at this is where I'm going to get blessed at this is where I'm going to get healed at this is where God going to restore me right here somebody stay there God going to bless you you're going to see greater and mighty things right where you standing somebody shout glory I feel anointing in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he's going to restore everything that's been eaten up. We serve a powerful God. Now it's all been eaten up. But God going to give it back. And honey, you thought it was pretty the first time. You thought you had something bad the first time. But honey, what God's finna do now ain't gonna be no link out the chain. Come on, somebody. God got some tight stuff. 
he got some stuff now that you ain't never had. I need some help in here. God gonna give you something now that money can't buy. Your husband you gonna get now ain't coming out the streets. God gonna restore. Read on. Read on. Call the verse. Verse 25. And I will restore to you yes. the years that the locusts have eaten. That they has they have eaten. See, everything that's been eaten in your life ain't over with. God can restore it. And he don't need the locusts to put back nothing to eat because he ain't going to use that. So everything that's been eaten, God ain't going to use none of that. He said, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He said, ah. Moses said, who shall I say sent me? He said, I am that I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I will do a new thing. God is doing something new right now. He's looking for people to do something new. He's looking for his people. He said in Revelation 3.20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would open up and let me in, I would come in and suffer with him. Come. Honey, let him in the house. Let him in there. Johnny McBride got to go, but let him in. Sidney got to go, but let him in. Because God going to feed you better. God going to take care of you better. Look like giving up shacking hurts, but giving up shacking brings you a marriage. But notice I got to run. And I will restore to you. He said, I will restore to you. The years that the locusts have eaten. And years. And they eat for years. Some people got over on you for years. You got so involved with it, you were ashamed to get out there. You said, if I'd have got out of this when mama and them first told me, I wouldn't feel so bad. But I lied for him and I lied for her. And I like they were the best thing in the world. They don't do none of that. All the time, they didn't want me to have it. But I got so in deep in it. And so I just find myself staying in it. Because I was too embarrassed to come out. But God said, everything that they eat, they took from you. They threatened you. See, if you quit me, I hurt you. God said, I'm going to give it back. I'm going to give it back. I'm going to give it back to you. Somebody ought to have a praise in here. You ought to put a praise on that right there. Give God glory. Because God going to give it back. We have a God that can see. The God that keep his ears right. Neither slumber nor sleep. God said, I ain't been to sleep. I see what was happening. And I'm going to reward you. But notice... Canker worm and the caterpillar yes. and the palmer worm. Yes. My great army, which I sent among you. Yes. And ye now shall notice now this eating up everything was sent because you rebel. What was eaten up wasn't just taking advantage of it. It was eaten up from you because you wouldn't serve God. And when you walk off from God, these things start happening. Now we just left you clear the asset 9, 18, one sinner destroyed. Things gonna be destroyed when you don't serve God. Things ain't gonna work out for you, is it though, if you were serving God. You gonna start things gonna start breaking the loose. Things gonna start coming the loose. Things ain't gonna start lining up like it used to be. And for some reason we think. God don't know whether we serving him or not. We can do like we want him, but God knows. Well, anytime it come down and you think he don't know, check the 10 lepers out. And 
all ten of them was clean, but when one saw he was healed, he turned back. Didn't nobody have to tell God on the ones that didn't come back. God said, what a nine? <laughs> hey, wasn't it ten of y'all? <laughs> well, well, it's nine more me some praises. <laughs> Your honey, but you better be that one. <laughs> Even if the nine don't come, you better show up. If the nine don't come to church, you better show up. If the nine don't clap their hands, you better clap your hands. You better tell God I thank you because I ain't about that. I'm about you. I see things I never see. You done heal me. You done deliver me. You done brought me out. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Sometimes you got to stand by yourself. Well, all 10 of us cried out to him. Yeah, but how many going to show back up? I've been meeting people all ever since I've been saved. He had nothing to do with me. I owe God a pray. You, you, you still over there? You better know it. Because he's blessing me right where I be obedient at. If I don't be obedient here, I ain't going to be obedient nowhere. You ain't going to get slick and get nothing out of God nowhere. Else. Amen. You ain't going to beat the system and get nothing out of God nowhere. Else. You do right. You do right. Here. Amen. Lord, you do right in Walmart. You ain't going to jail. But go in there looking at somebody that's put something in their pocket and you put something in your, you're going to. And you ain't got to tell it. Nobody got to tell you they got cameras in there. Lord, they get you quicker now. Start with you in the parking lot. Lord Jesus. Ain't the Lord good? <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. But notice what he says. Verse 26. And ye shall eat in plenty. Wait, wait a minute. Now everything the locals, they don't eat up everything. But God said you finna eat in plenty. Wait a minute, food coming back, y'all. I said, food coming back. Things is coming back now. Come on now, wake up now. Come on, hold your head up high. And say, hallelujah in the high. Come on and praise him now. Things is coming back. Glory to God. Things is getting lighter for you now. Doors is opening back up for you. He said, I set before you an open door. God is opening some doors for you now. He said, nah, then you don't have to eat just a little bit. Can't you tell when God is coming back? Can't you feel the miracles is coming back in the house? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh -huh. And you shall eat in plenty. Yes. And be satisfied. And eat in plenty. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord and your praise God. praise him. Don't forget God. Don't eat and be satisfied and act like it's supposed to happen. Eat and be satisfied and praise God. And serve him like a wild woman. And serve him like a wild man. Honey, you just need to get wild for God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to get wild over what the enemy is telling you. You got to let the devil know if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up. So, but God was right there. If God hadn't have fed us, we wouldn't have had no food. If God hadn't have healed us, we wouldn't have never been healed. If God hadn't have blessed us, we wouldn't have never been blessed. But notice. And you shall eat in plenty. You shall eat in plenty. Not just a little bit. In plenty. Thanks, y'all are so blessed. But stay with God. Don't forget who blessed you. You know God is good to you. Amen. You know what does that panic and everything? You ain't like about to look like you right like the lost your mind. Because you can't go everywhere. Look like you've been doing good. He was staying in the house. It's a lot of folks ain't here today because they couldn't stand the pressure. They have to run everywhere. They have to be around everybody. You had so much respect, you wore your mask and still here. Yeah. There's a lot of folks don't want to wear their But you've been so humble, you're so blessed. But stay with the Lord now. 
Stay with it. Glory to God. Uh -huh. And even if they tell you don't have masks, still wait. I, I was talking to my daughter this morning. I was talking to Vanessa. I said, you know, a lot of people look better with a mask on. You, did you not know? You not know? We, we done found out you don't really need your mouth to smile. All you need is your eyes. You have an eye smile. You still friendly. You still lovely. It still show up so sweet. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. And, and, and two, the, the mask helps a lot of us because we ain't good about smiling. So now everybody think you sweet because the mask take the rest of it off. Let's, let's read. <laughs> the mask been a blessing. It did us more good than it did harm. Uh-huh. And you shall eat in plenty. Yeah. And be satisfied. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. And do what? Praise the name of the Lord praise your God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. God, I thank you for restoring it. When David heard that everything in Obed Edom house was blessed. Because the ark of God was in the house. And David is in the city of David. <laughs> he said, David, everything in Obed Edom house is blessed. <laughs> David didn't have to do nothing but just hit one of his pockets. When you find out ain't nothing there, <laughs> you better go get God. <laughs> David went down to Obed Edom house <laughs> and took the ark of God <laughs> back into the city of David. <laughs> But he brought it back in singing and dancing and praising God. Uh, honey, God been good to you. Uh, now, I'm not just telling you you got to jump in here right now. Uh, or you got to get loud. Uh, but every chance you get, uh, honey, you ought to give him some praise. Uh, I said you ought to give God some glory. Uh, and not just because I'm speaking it now. Uh, I'm talking about giving him some uh, behind closed doors. Uh, give him some when don't nobody see you. Uh, Give him some when ain't nobody around you. I want you to just holler thank you when ain't nobody around you. Even in your car, your car roof, ought to hear you holler glory. Your sterner wheel ought to hear you holler glory. Your gas pedal ought to hear you holler glory. Your gas tank ought to hear you holler glory. But he brought the ark of God back into the city of David. David danced out his clothes. Wait a minute. You said, ooh, David did something like that. Wait a minute. We all done dance. You danced before you got saved. A lot of us got ourselves in a mess by dancing. I can't get no hip in there. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Some of, some of them they had a dance they made a circle around but now you're dancing for the Lord I can't get no help in there I'm going to leave it alone glory to God ain't the Lord good you ought to give God some glory give him some praise without anybody seeing you you ought to tell him you love him without anybody else hearing you Praise the name of the Lord your God that have dealt wondrously with you. Yes. And my people shall never be ashamed. Ooh, he said, my people shall never. You should never be ashamed. Good as God been to you. <laughs> Honey, if anybody tried to make you feel bad about serving God, you tell me if it had not been for the Lord, I wouldn't be here. Had not been for the Lord, I wouldn't be where I am. Hallelujah. If they ain't shame of what you what they doing, God knows you are not to be shame of serving God. But notice, notice. Verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst God, of Israel. God said, you gonna know it. God said, I'm not gonna do something, you ain't gonna know it. Did you not know we know when you say evil? We know when you love God. It's a glow on you when you love God, it ain't on you when you don't love it. 
You walk in his spirit when you're serving him that you don't walk in when you ain't serving him. Oh, Jesus. See, that's why you can't come in a building and throw nobody off. Glory to God. But the building is for everybody. The Bible says you're in a great house as vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. You, you got all type in the house, but you ain't got to stay dishonor. You can be a vessel of honor. Repent and get it right. Because ain't no perfect folks in here. But I tell you what, you sure can leave out better than you come in. Hallelujah. I'm just going to surrender all to the Lord. Glory to God. Read, don't I got to run. And ye shall know yes. that I am in the midst of Israel. Yes. And that I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord your God. You can't make God everybody. God don't want him to be the God. You can't make people say they don't want to be saved. I don't care how many funerals you go to. If they didn't serve God, they didn't serve him. And you can't put them in heaven because how you feel about them. You can't say where they going how you feel about them. Glory to God. The Bible said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Did them people repent? It'll do the talking. Amen. Re repent and do your own talking. Glory to God. Uh huh. I am the Lord your God. Yes. And none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Yes. And it shall come to pass afterwards. Yes. That I will pour out my spirit. Nine then after you done stay. And did the requirements he finna pour out now yeah now who, who been worrying you you couldn't get no sleep you couldn't eat every time you hear a siren you didn't want to hear it, but you heard it and you don't know why to keep passing by where you live at <laughs> and with all and look like they don't get loud till they pass you <laughs> the devil trying to stir something but you in there tell that devil we got a hot pole coming <laughs> Hey, God finna pull out. <laughs> Who you thought wasn't gonna come in, finna come in. <laughs> Who you thought wasn't gonna live right, finna live right. <laughs> Who you thought wasn't gonna be saved. <laughs> Honey, that's why it ain't good <laughs> to put a thumbtack by nobody's name <laughs> and say you don't believe they're gonna make it. <laughs> Cause honey, they gonna make it. <laughs> God gonna do some eye pouring. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh huh. Read daughter. And I will pour out my spirit. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. And your son. Wait, wait a minute. What you used to couldn't keep up with. Be gone for two or three months and wouldn't call you. I'm about to quit, but I want this to sell in you. Wouldn't call you. Come next door to them people's house. And hide from you and wouldn't even let you know they was over there. And just kept you worried. You need to teach yourself and self get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. God got a miracle. See, you don't want them saved better than he do. He said it's not his will that any should perish. You know, there have been times in our lives where we have got so upset with them, we give up on them for a minute. Because you were mad. But God ain't never been in the flesh to get mad with. They have did things and wouldn't tell you and you got mad. Call yourself getting them back through punishment. But God ain't never give up on them. Oh Jesus. And I'm so glad. He didn't give up on you. If God had gave up on you, you wouldn't be here today. But notice what he says. And your sons and your daughters. You, you notice, your sons and that spirit work the same way in, in the daughters. You would think they would be cute about theirs and wouldn't do it. They just as worse as them both. Because you know why? It's that spirit in them. They see that spirit neither male nor female. It ain't no girl or boy. It's a spirit that operates in them. And cause them to just get just as mad with one as you do the other. Amen. You lock them all out. Amen. Say, oh, I thought you would have been better since you was a girl. But it's that spirit. I thought you would have showed some love to me. I know though Junior was going to do that. But I, they're going to do it too. Huh? And Junior talks. Junior asks, you going, you going to mama's birthday party? No, I ain't either. But that's all right. God going to reward you. Everything the locusts, everything that they didn't give you, 
Honey, they finna bring you some presents. Every birthday, it seems like they miss, they finna show up. But notice. And your sons. And your sons. And your daughters. And your daughters. Shall prophesy. Show. Ooh. Ooh. Bitch. Ain't they gonna do that? Yeah, because you know what? You've been mad with them, I ain't. <laughs> See, you marked, how, you marked how they live. You were standing up all night trying to see what time they come home and they didn't come. You hear that again, but I didn't. Because see, I don't know what time he was supposed to come home. All I know, he going to pour out his spirit. I'm waiting on God to pour out. See, you trying to see if they drank liquor, they smoked cigarettes, but I'm waiting on God to pour out. See, you got to remember now, I wasn't waiting on what you waiting on. <laughs> yeah, but the police stopped them the other day. That's your problem now. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the police stopping them. <laughs> I was looking at the poor out. God, he said in the last days, he's going to pour out. <laughs> Sometimes you need to just tell your children, <laughs> go on, do it, do it till you're satisfied. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the pour out. <laughs> God going to pour out. <laughs> His spirit up on all flesh. That's what I'm waiting on. I ain't, I, I'm not waiting on how much you run around him. How much you pass by the church and won't come. God going to pull out. Come on somebody. I need somebody here to know that God going to pull out. God ain't going to miss a one of them. He going to pull out his spirit. Glory to God. I'm looking for that. The poor out. You out here looking for everything that's keeping notes. Get rid of your notes. Throw the, 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 get rid of the pen that you wrote the notes with. The pad too. <laughs> Whatever you wrote it on, get rid of it. <laughs> See, you keep yourself stirred up in the wrong way. <laughs> keep yourself stirred up in the, in the spirit. <laughs> he said he going to pour out in the last days. <laughs> he going to pour out his spirit. <laughs> and you right here talking about, yeah, but... <laughs> They don't respect me. They don't treat me like this. Shut up. Why stir yourself like that? Honey, wait on the poor out. It's come a apple. God finna pour out upon your sons and daughters. Oh, Lord, you see, I could see it. Bishop, I could see it. If they were more like me. Honey, they don't need to be more not, no more like you than they do today. Both of y'all is a mess. Come on, I, I need me some help in here now. Trying to, trying to mock some. Honey, you wasn't all that. Let me go find one or two of your other brothers and sisters. Hey, worse than this dude. I need me some help in here now. But I'm waiting on the poor. Out. Yeah. I would have a little bit more to go on if they were like me. They don't need to be no more like you. You is too much in them now. I don't want to see, I ain't, I'm not thinking about it. you or him. In them. I'm looking at the poor out. He said in the last days, he gonna pour out his spirit. Read that one more time, don't I'm quitting him. And it shall come to pass. Yes. Afterward. That I will pour out my spirit. I will pour out my spirit. Upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. And your son. And he telling you the flesh he going to pour out. And your what? Son. Your sons. And your daughters. And your daughters will want to wash dishes. <laughs> your daughter would leave here and leave the baby. And don't tell you she gone. Is help for her. What you talking about? God ain't finna get rid of her to leave them babies on you. You just got to babysit. That ain't help against them from getting saved. You just got to keep the baby. You got to spend your last three dollars on some pampers. That ain't gonna stop them from getting saved. I can't get no help in here. I don't care how many notes you keep. <laughs> God gonna save his people. 
Yeah, but they, 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 at least they could ask. They ain't got no mind to ask. Oh, Jesus. But notice what it says. Your son. Yeah, your son. And your daughter. And your daughter. Shall prophesy. Shall prophesy. Your old men. Your old men. Shall dream dreams. Go dream dream because they done been through that. They dream and the load is light. When you get older, you just dream dream. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, you done been through some things and like, not God has done raised you up. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Your young men shall see visions. Yes. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days. In those days. Will I pour out my spirit. And he he going to pour out his spirit. Anybody wait on the I pour. That's a blessing. You ain't got to worry about what they doing. They just do what they do. But when God pour out, that's going to change everything. Because so many things they tell us they're going to be better in and don't get no. Don't let them upset you. Don't let them catch a good moment and think they can just tell you anything and they do it. I'm waiting on the apple. He's going to pull out his spirit. Honey, you can dance then. This what they tell you not. You can't dance off that. Uh -uh, you can't say nothing on that. You can't carry that to nobody else. Wait the God pull out. When he pour out, it's going to be a lot now. When he pour out, it's going to be a different. It ain't going to be the same child no more. The child won't have to tell you he's saved. He's going to walk in the anointing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you want to keep yourself. Still, you want to keep, stay alive. This sim, this opera on them. Don't let what they do now cause you to leave early. You need to hang around a little longer because God got something he wants you to see for trusting him. He's going to save him. Anybody get blessed in him today? And believe it. God got so much, so much for you.